This video is to demonstrate how to use the TI Inspire to solve the problems where compound interest is being calculated and also to figure out uh, simple interest problems. We're going to find total amount um, that the account will earn as well as the interest earned. And then for simple interest, you'll learn how to do find the simple interest earned and then using that calculate the total amount that would be in the account. An example of where this might be used, co compound interest is used in investments, for instance, a retirement plan. Simple interest is used in savings accounts or also to determine the total payoff on cars. All right, so the first thing is we have set up with our TI Inspire a document, a program that will calculate the uh, compound interest. So you'll want to go to or my documents on your calculator and find the one that's renamed compound interest, C-O-M-P-I-N-T, push enter, it will open up and you wanna double check to make sure the equation is correct. This equation is on the bullet, uh, bulletin board. So we have the P which is principal times parenthesis one plus R percent over N, which is the number of payments rate, raised to the exponential of uh, the number of payments times the t the number of years and then we'll use the new doc or simply move over to the 1.2 since we have a calculator option we're going to push the var button at the bottom and activate now in our program we set it to be able to input just the four numbers we need to know so on our problem we need to identify those so when it set your problem says find the amount in your account if you invest $1,000. That is going to be your P for principal. Um, for five years, that is your T for time. At 5% interest, that is your R percent. And we want to type it in as just, we're going to type in just the R. We don't need to type in the percent sign. And that is, and then compounded monthly tells us our N. N in this case, because monthly means there's 12 months in the year, so we're going to use N as 12. So just to write, jot down our numbers we're going to be plugging into the calculator, we're going to plug in P equals 1,000, uh, R equals 5, N equals 12, and T equals 5. And we want to put them in that order, so P, N, P-R-N-T, like print. That's how we're going to type it into our calculator. So on our calculator, we're going to type in 1,000, comma, 5, comma, 12, comma, 5. And then enter. And it shows us our compound interest is $1,283.36. So total account balance at the end of five years is $1,283.36. Now that means that our total interest earned is going to be the difference between what we started with, P minus, or P plus I equals the total balance. So B equals P plus I. So our balance is 1,283.36. Our original principal was 1,000. So to find our interest, we simply solve for I. So interest earned was $283.36, which isn't bad for five, year, five years of just leaving $1,000 in the bank. Okay, so next we're going to look at a simple interest problem. Again, you'll want to go back to your My Document. We have created a simple interest program, so we'll need to select that. And again, we want to double check our program is the correct equation. The simple interest is the principal times the rate percent times time. Again, we're going to enter the P, the R, and the T. The R does not have to be changed. It is going to be figured as a percent. In the calculator. 
So use control over to get to your problem. And now we're going to do a pro look at our, our problem. So we need to find out the principal, the rate, and the amount of time that this is being paid on. So our principal is we're depositing $1,000. That's our principal at a rate of 5%. So again, we're going to just put in the R, not put in the percentage, for a period of five years, and that is our time. So we have principal equals 1,000, rate equals 5, and time equals 5. And then on our calculator, we're going to push the VAR button, hit Enter, and we're going to put in our three numbers, 1,000, 5, 5. Enter, and we see our simple interest is $250. So on compound interest, it gave us our grand total. On simple interest, it only gives us our interest earned. So our grand balance at the end of the five years will be our principal plus our simple interest. So we're going to take $1,000 plus the $250, and we get a grand total of $1,250. Now, the difference, this was basically the same problem um, using the same amount of money started with, the same interest rate, the same number of years. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is compound interest builds on top of each other so that when we get our grand total there, we actually ended up with a lot higher total a 1,283 versus 1,250. So again, if you're wanting to retire rich, go with compound interest. If you want to pay lower payments, go with simple interest.